Whatsoever things are good, whatsoever things are noble, 
It's my favorite because it helps us to look at life very well. What I intend to do is to look at this psalm, particularly the first five verses, and then also dwell on the other words and we conclude. The topic is the rationale of this special transition. This psalm, I must say, is one of my favorites. I love it because it portrays the service as a deep spiritual man. It shows me as a man who, like Moses before me, walked daily with God. In the opening verse, he summons the counsel of his own being, every part of him to arise. Arise before the Lord. And to present the offering of us here. Was he addressing his hands when he said, All oh, that you will me? Was he addressing his lips or oh, his legs to sing, to dance, or what? He shot his body and so to praise his name of God. So it was the counsel of one man with himself. Thus, he was ready to sing. He was ready to turn hands. He was ready to dance. He was ready to talk and rejoice in the presence of God. He tried himself not to forget all the benefits that God had bestowed on him. In other words, count your blessings. He began to enumerate, and the first thing that came to his mind was a theological issue. That of sin. The problem of sin is a basic problem of man. It's a reference to God's graciousness. Because according to the man, God who forgives all your sins. This is a reference to the grace of God on your life for 70 years. For 46 years. For 42 years. For 29 years. God who forgives your sins. The graciousness of God towards the imperfection of humankind. In this verse, the psalmist brought out ancient theological issue between God and man, which is the issue of free access. Sin blocks the access to God and weakens the power of man. Because of sin, Adam stroke Eve were driven away from God's presence. With that, they also lost their peace and joy. When our sins are forgiven, we are restored to God, reconciled, and we gain access to divine fellowship. This divine fellowship will not be there no matter how much we pretend if it is blocked by sin. In this verse, the psalmist foreshadowed the coming and ministry of the Redeemer, the Messiah, who is the Savior of mankind from sin. Not because we are qualified, not because we are worthy, not because of anything good that is in us, but because God is gracious. Man's salvation is anchored on God's graciousness. And it is this graciousness that is the driver 
in the relationship between God and man. When we lose sight of it, we go astray and we become proud, we become arrogant, we become boastful. It is all of grace. So for these 70 years, your grace, you have enjoyed the mercy of God, the grace of God. In your life, you were not killed when you were under 10. It's possible. Every child could be killed by the mother. If she so desires. You have no resistance from nine months to ten years or till you are even conscious of anything. It is then they ask you to go that you go. You can't ask any question, why am I here? But God piloted your parents and they brought you up and now you are 70 years. To God Almighty be the glory. You and your family have enjoyed this forgiveness in your marriage, one to another. Imperfect man to imperfect woman, and you have lived for 42 years, 46 years. In your ordination, it is true that we are called to God, and we are called by Him, and He equips us. But we do know that Moses had some problems. Aaron had some problems. So it would be surprising that even people who are still there today have their time of turbulence. And God in his mercy has healed and forgiven them. Number two, he heals all your diseases. All things, all living things, all living beings, animals and trees suffer ill health. Yourself, your wife, your children, and so on. At one point or the other, for these 70 years, must have visited the hospital, must have been ill, headache, stomach ache, back ache, whatever ache. But the Lord has not allowed you to perish. You have lived to see this glorious day. If I ask you to stand up, and may I ask you, two of you, to stand up and look back, please do stand. Mom is joy. About God. <laughs> I'm sorry to take you to the barracks, but it's okay. Look forward, sir. I ask you to look back so that you can appreciate the beauty of what is happening today. That the Lord has given you this wonderful privilege. Please be seated. According to the people at Luth, they say, we care, God heals. If you go to the hospital, this pandemic is most deserving to be done. Your age mates have collided with many forces that have deformed them. All of us must give thanks to God. And Bishop E.A. Adema was served briefly in Lebanon, Dallas, served in the Indonesia, Dallas, 28 fruitful years of evangelical work, preaching, teaching, and prayer ministry. He is a well learned man, a well learned man a theological scholar capped with a PhD from the foremost university of Ife. Apart from his chains of degrees, 
He is a fellow of the Nigerian Academy of Letters. And he holds a national award, OON. And he some people, the devil people, through the paramount ruler, named the street in the devil day after him. In other words, you went out from your people and you related with them, they appreciated who you are. You got married at 28 years, still together and inseparable. You married a woman. Some people today are teaching new things that marriage is married, whether to a man or to a woman, to a cat or to a dog. But here in the Church of Nigeria, let it be emphasized. Whoever is lobbying anybody from any quarters, this church does not approve that standard of living. That lifestyle is an abomination. We have said and said times without number that homosexuality is not for us. It is unnatural, it is ungodly, it is unhealthy altogether. You are the Archbishop of Province 1. And then, Archbishop of the Province of Lagos for 10 years. You are Dean Church of Nigeria. And in Ibadan, you were proclaimed Dean Emeritus. We thank God for your life. Many people know you from different angles. You make friends very easily because you are a detravelized somebody. You have many friends in the East. You have many friends in the North. You have many friends in the West. And may I say also, in the Midwest, if there is anywhere like that. So, this gift has really put you above many. That you are not snobbish, you are friendly, and you interact, you and your wife, freely. The women fellowship among the bishops, wives, and so on, they speak volume about her and the whole family. You are very interested in the ordinary people. Ordinary people. How shall we remember their fellowship in the house of bishops? Because during standing committee meetings, we wouldn't expect you again to come and lie on it up. But we will remember you. We will remember the good of blessings. And of course, we will remember the priority of labor's houses, as you always exist. And then we shall remember, I am a tools. We will remember, is it Cyril or Cyril? We will remember. I beg your pardon. We will not forget so easily. And God will be with you. 
Mrs. Ademowo is a person very unique. If there is any characteristic that you will not miss, it her, it's her smile. It's not something you can contradict. She smiles and very compassionate. The bishops, dead wives can testify. All can reach her. They have listening ear. More than that, she's very prayerful. Those of you who relate with her closely, you will know that she's a prayerful woman. Apart from being prayerful or spiritual, Mrs. Nadebawa is a wise woman, naturally wise. Wisdom is the ability to apply knowledge in the right way and at the right time. These are qualities that the Church of Nigeria, even though we are not going to miss completely, will not be readily available to us as before. Now for your future, we commit you and your family to God. According to Psalm 37, Psalm 37, verse 25, it says, I have been young and now I'm old, yet I have not seen the righteous forsaken, nor his children descend and beg him bread. The Lord will not forsake you. And your children will not beg bread. Amen. Again, if you go to Psalm 71, it has the following verse 5 For you are my hope, O Lord God, you are my trust from my youth. By you I have been upheld from birth. You are he who took me out of my mother's womb. My praise shall be continually of you. Always remember that he who has kept you from the beginning has not gone away. He's still there and he will keep you. Furthermore, According to 1 Peter chapter 5, verse 7, it says, Cast all your cares on him, for he cared for you. What are our cares? Is it food? And doctors will not allow us to eat well now. They will give you the size you will eat. They will tell you what you will eat. They tell you what you will not eat, and so on and so forth. In the end, you just discover that you look at food, and uh, you take away your eyes. The Lord will provide for you. Yeah. According to Lamentation, chapter 3, Lamentation, chapter 3, 22 to 24. Through the Lord's mercies, we are not consumed because his compassions fail not. They are new every morning. Great is your faithfulness. The Lord is my portion, says my soul. Therefore, I hope in him. If you rehearse these passages to yourself, you will not falter. You will not forget that you are secure and safe and that there is a comprehensive insurance, divine comprehensive insurance on your life. Now, 
What will you do for us? Since you are leaving our meetings and so on. You are in a better position to know. You know the hills we are climbing. You know the valleys we are descending. You know the terrain very well. So we beg you, pray for us. We ask for your prayer, the prayer of your family, for the Church of Nigeria. We have issues within and without because of our stand. We beg you, pray for us that we may not go astray. Finally, this is a message about retirement and God Almighty will make all of us to retire in peace. Amen. They say that life begins at 70. So you are just beginning. A new type, a new style. Maybe not many priests will come around. Not many text messages. Not many Christmas cards. Not many, many friends. It's a new life, but one with God is majority. Now, that points to something that is more final, and that is the final retirement for all of us. Sometime, someday, we shall retire, finally. A man, a woman, a boy, a girl, we don't know the date, we don't know when, we don't know how. Retirement will come. We will all retire from this world. Whether we don't know the, what will happen. You hear now, in America, fire is burning and people are dying. You hear that flood is killing some people in other places. In India, a bus fell into a gorge and 30 people died. And so on and so forth. We do know that death will come one day, but we don't know how. So prepare for your own retirement. In other words, prepare to meet your God. Because it will surely come. And when it does come, where will you be? Will you be received and say, Come in, blessed of my father? Or the voice will say, Depart from me, I do not know you, you workers of iniquity. This is the time to take that decision. Where will you be? The life we live here have eternal consequences, and it is important that we make it right. Our brother, our mother, as you go forward, may the Lord go with you. Amen. May the Lord sustain you. Amen. May your health not fail. Amen. May the peace of God rule your life. Amen. In the name of God the Father, Amen. of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit.
Let us pray for the whole Church of God in Christ Jesus and for all men according to their needs. Almighty God, our Heavenly Father, you promised through your Son, Jesus Christ, to hear us when we pray in faith. Strengthen Nicholas, our primate, Michael, our archbishop, Adebola, our retiring bishop, and Dean Emeritus, Damishibi, our successor bishop, and all your church in the service of Christ, that those who confess your name may be united in your truth, may live together in your love, and reveal your glory in the world. Lord, your mercy. Bless and guide our rulers, Muhammadu, our president, assisted by Yemi at the federal level, Akemumi, our governor, assisted by Ulurati in the administration of Lagos State, give wisdom to all in authority and direct this and every nation in the ways of justice and of peace, that men may honor one another and seek the common good. Lord, in your mercy, give grace to us, our families and friends, and to all our neighbors, that we may serve Christ in one another and love as he loves us. Lord, in your mercy, comfort and heal those who suffer in body, mind, or spirit. Give them courage. Give them hope in their troubles. And bring them the joy of your healing your deliverance and salvation. Lord, your mercy. Hear us as we remember those who have died in the faith of Christ, both in past ages and even at this present time all over the world and especially in our country, still dying for the faith. According to your promises, grant us with them a share in your eternal kingdom. Lord, your mercy. Rejoicing in the fellowship of all your saints in heaven and on earth, and in particular at this time, Adebola and Olonati Ademowo, whom you have supported and sustained through all the changing scenes of life and ministry. We commend them to your kindly light in the encircling gloom around us, and we commend ourselves and all Christian people to your unfailing love. Merciful Father, accept these prayers for the sake of your Son, our Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. Please rise. We are the body of Christ, the one Spirit, we were all baptized into one body. Let us then pursue all that makes for peace and build up our common life. 
The peace of the Lord be always with you. Let us offer one another a sign of peace. The Lord be with you. Oh, be joyful in God, all ye lands. Sing praises unto the honor of his name. Oh, come hither and hearken, all ye that fear God. And I will tell you what the Lord had done for my life, for my soul. Hallelujah.
offer tree, page 22.
page 24, together, your small is the greatness, the power, the, the splendor, and the majesty. For everything in heaven and on earth is yours. All things come from you, and of your own do we give you. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks unto the Lord our God. It is in the right. It is our duty and our joy at all times and in all places to give you thanks and praise. Holy Father, Heavenly King, Almighty and Eternal God, through Jesus Christ, your only Son, our Lord, for he is your living word. Through him you have created all things from the beginning and from those in your own image. Through him you have freed us from the slavery of sin, giving him to be born as man and to die upon the cross. You raised him from the dead and exalted him to your right hand on high. Through him, you have sent upon us your holy and thy given spirit, and made us a people for your own possession. With angels and archangels, and with all the company of heaven, we proclaim your great and glorious name, forever praising you. And
Please kneel and let us pray. Accept our praises, Heavenly Father, through your Son and Savior Jesus Christ. And as we follow his example and obey his command, grant that by the power of your Holy Spirit, these gifts of bread and wine may be unto us his body and blood, who in the same night that he was betrayed took bread. gave you thanks. He broke it and gave it to his disciples saying, Take, eat. This is my body which is given for you. Do this in remembrance of me. Same way after supper, he took the cup and gave you thanks. He gave it to them, saying, Drink this, all of you. This is my blood of the new covenant, which is shed for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this as often as you drink it in remembrance of me. Therefore, we proclaim the mystery of faith. Therefore, Heavenly Father, we remember his offering of himself made once for all upon the cross and proclaim his mighty resurrection and glorious ascension. As we look for his coming in glory, we celebrate with his bread and this cup, his one perfect sacrifice. Accept through him our great high priest, this our sacrifice of thanks and praise. And as we eat and drink these holy gifts, in the presence of your divine majesty, renew us by your spirit, inspire us with your love, and unite us in the body of your son, Jesus Christ, our Lord, through him and with him and in him, by the power of the Holy Spirit, with all who stand before you on earth and in heaven, we worship you, Father Almighty, in songs of everlasting praise. Share in the body of Christ.
prayer of humble access together. We do not presume to come to this table, merciful Lord, trusting in our own righteousness, but in your manifold and great mercies. We are not worthy so much as to gather up the crumbs under your table, but you are the same Lord, whose nature is always to have mercy. Grant us, therefore, gracious Lord, so to eat the flesh of your dear Son, Jesus Christ, and to drink his blood, that we may evermore dwell in him, and he in us. Amen. Set your mind on God's kingdom and his justice before everything else, and the rest will come to you as well. Draw near with faith, receive the body of our Lord Jesus Christ, which he gave for you, and his blood which he shed for you. Eat and drink in remembrance that he died for you, and feed on him in your heart by faith without. Please note that we are going to be having some serving points. Go to the points nearest to you. Thank you.
The Lord be with you. Let us pray. We beseech thee, O Lord, let your divine power work mightily within your servants, so that this life-giving sacrament may render us ever the more ready for fresh grace. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Watch over your son, Adebola, O Lord, as his days increase. Bless and guide him when discouraged, worried, O sorrowful. Uphold him that he may not fall, and in his heart may your peace, which passes all understanding, Abide all the days of his life through Jesus Christ our Lord. Please stand. As our Savior taught us, so we pray. Hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come. Your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins, as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. Together, Almighty God, we thank you for feeding us with the body and blood of your Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord. Through him we offer you our souls and bodies to be a living sacrifice. Send us out in the power of your Spirit to live and walk to your praise and glory. Amen. Please be seated. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the living Jesus. Let me humbly invite the celebrant and our mother in Israel, Baba Mama Demowo, and the immediate family members to come forward for thanksgiving. And I would also like your excellencies to kindly all of the family. Thank you.
of your hearts. Mighty God, the owner of the universe. In your graciousness, you created the world and gave us a place in it. We thank you, we praise your name. We rejoice in your presence because you are our Father, you are our Redeemer, you are our Sanctifier. And so, Heavenly Father, because of your manifold blessings, your children have come to give you the thanks due to your holy name. In your mercy, accept them. Accept their gratitude. You have watched over their lives. You have kept them from falling. You have taken them over obstacles and difficulties of life. And today they have arrived at this point in time. Therefore, together, all of us and the whole of this congregation, with the host of angels, we offer you the glory due to your holy name. Thank you, mighty Father. Thank you, mighty God. Be thou exalted above the heavens. Let your name forever be glorified. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Heavenly Father. We are deeply grateful. Thank you for what you have done. Thank you for what you are doing. Thank you for what you will continue to do. Thank you, mighty Father. Lord, the Ademo was are retiring from the active service of the church. Where do they go from here? We commit them to your care. East, west, north, and south of the world is in your hand. Therefore, go before them. We pray they will not fall. They will not crash. Heavenly Father, they will not die suddenly. The power of God's grace will uphold you. The power of the world will not harm you. The power of sin will not harm you. The power of the devil will not harm you. The power of the flesh will not harm you. The Lord God who rules over the universe he has created will look after your lives. In the night, it will be well with you. In the day, it will be well with you. In the rain, it will be well with you. In the dry, it will be well with you. The Lord will supply your needs according to his riches in glory, and he will fill your mouth with laughter. Lord, we cover them with the breastplate of righteousness. We cover them with the shield of faith, with which they quench all the fiery bullets of the devil. We cover them with the equipment of the gospel of peace. Father, put upon them the breastplate of righteousness. Put in their hands the sword of the spirit, which is the word of God and with it, they drive the enemy into the bottomless pit. We pray, Lord, that through your grace, they will cross the Red Sea on dry land. And you will put a new song in their lips, the song of Zion, the song of victory. And people will say, the Lord has done great things for them. So it shall be, so we shall testify. Father, they've come with numerous people, men and women, great and small, as many as have attended this service that have come to rejoice with them, to pray for them and to wish them well. Lord, hear their prayers. We pray that they also will have occasion to celebrate, that the things of joy will not depart from their families. We hand them all over to your care. Some have traveled far to get to this place. In their return journey, go with them. They will not regret the decision to come here. The good Lord will take care of them and look after their interest. The joy of the Lord will continue to be your strength. Bless them today. Bless their children. Bless their grandchildren. And bless them every day. In Jesus' name we pray. Unto God's mercy, loving kindness, victory unto victory, joy unto joy. We commit you and all these your friends in their different capacities and responsibilities. The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face to shine upon you and be gracious unto you. The Lord lift up the light of his countenance upon you and give you his peace. 
Peace at home, peace at work, peace in your relationships, today and forevermore. Let us all stand and dance. Let us stand up and dance. Let us stand and dance and rejoice.
Tedium Laudamus, page 33. Please stand.
place it for notices. Praise the Lord. We can do better. Praise the Lord. We can still do better. Praise the Lord. God is God all the time. Thank you. Please, because of challenge of time, we will do the notices militarily. We want to thank and appreciate immensely His Grace, the Most Reverend Dr. Nicholas Oko, Primate of all Nigeria, and Mama Primate. We are indeed very, very grateful for coming. We also appreciate His Excellency, Mr. Kim Wumi Ambodi, the Executive Governor of Lagos State. We appreciate you for coming. His Excellency, Mr. Feli Pedro, representing Ashwaju Bola Ahmed Tinumbu, former Governor of Lagos State. We also appreciate immensely his Excellency Senator Ibikule Amusu and his wife, Dr. Olufunsha Amusu, the Executive Governor of Ogun State. We appreciate it. We also appreciate His Excellency Dr. Godwin Opacity, the Executive Governor of Edo State. We appreciate you, sir. Please, if you want to clap, let us clap. We want to appreciate His Excellency Chief Emeka Yoko, former Secretary General of the United Nations, Ichi Adesi, and the Chairman of the reception of today. Baba, we appreciate you. We want to appreciate Our Excellency Mrs. Victoria Adejoke Ure Lope Adefulure and Mr. Abiodun Adefulure. We appreciate you for coming. God bless you. Senior Special Assistance to the President on SDGs. We want to appreciate Honorable Justice Adedayo Oyebanji and Dr. Tunji Oyebanji, Chancellor Lagos Diocese. We want to appreciate you, man, leading all other, all legal luminaries. We want to appreciate Mr. and Mrs. Ajumobia, Chancellor, Church of Nigeria. We appreciate you, sir. We have endless lists of bishops in this service. Uh, permit me to appreciate the Archbishop for Ecclesiastical Province of Lagos, Most Reverend Dr. Lucian of Fakwe. Thank you for coming. And all the way from the United States of America, we have Bishop Felix Ochi. We appreciate your coming. From Methodist Church, the Bishop of Oku, Right Reverend Bamidele Ibikule, we appreciate your coming. The Right Reverend STB Adegbite, Methodist Bishop of Ikeja, we appreciate your coming. And I'm a man of protocol. Well, just because of challenge of time, uh, we have 67 bishops in this service. Please, we appreciate them. Put your hands together for them and celebrate them. Yes, please, we want to sincerely appreciate and thank our Father in God he is next to the primate of Church of Nigeria and there is need for me to introduce him properly the Most Reverend Dr. Ali Buba Lamido Baba, we appreciate you thank you for coming Chief and Mrs. Olabodi Judge, we appreciate you Sir and Lady Uluokeowo, thank you for coming 
Mama Akinola, wife of the former primate, we appreciate you. Chief Wally Ola Nikpekun-san, thank you. Mr. Alumide and Mrs. Shofuora san thank you. Mr. Ogunlewe, former head of service, Lagos State, we appreciate you for coming. God bless you, permanent secretary in Lagos State. We also want to appreciate sincerely, immensely, Otumba, Olashibu, Mi Balogun, Anulori, Abimbala Balogun. Baba, we appreciate you. Honorable Justice and Mrs. Ade Alabi, former Chief Judge of Lagos, we appreciate you. Honorable Justice Rostin Ukuje, former Chief Judge of Federal High Court, appreciate your coming. Please put your hands together for them. We want to thank all the assistant officials. We appreciate you. Clergy and their beautiful wives, thank you for coming. And that young saxophonist, the young saxophonist, Timmy Sax, leader of the band for today. Please put your hands together for him. You can do better. We want to appreciate Mr. and Mrs. Oshibodu. We appreciate your coming. And the combined choir, they've done it in a marvelous way today. We want to thank God for them. Please put your hands together and appreciate them. From our saviors, from Nativity, from Uncle Ben, Emuwa, St. David's Lafayette, and others. Thank you. We are proud of you. All dignitaries and their wives, we appreciate you all. We want to appreciate Chief and Chief Mrs. Joseph Sanose. We appreciate you, former Governor of Central Bank. Thank you. We want to appreciate Lady Hebrew. We appreciate your coming. Please put your hands together for her. Thank you. You are all blessed in Jesus' name. We will always have reason to celebrate in the name of Jesus. It's express permission I got it here that we want to appreciate Mama, Mrs. A.I. Olumakai. God bless you. I appreciate you. Praise the Lord. We want to appreciate the real brass band from our quiet bone state. Please put your hands together for this powerful group. Powerful group. It was wonderful yesterday. It was explosive yesterday. And they've done it again today. Put your hands together for them. Thank you. God bless you. Appreciate you all. The peace of God which passes all understanding. Keep your hearts and minds in the knowledge and love of God and of his Son, Jesus Christ our Lord, and the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit be amongst you and remain with you always. in peace to love and serve the Lord.